SDXL Lightning is a lightning-fast text-to-image generation model. It can generate high-quality 1024 pixel images in just a few steps. It is a model that iterates upon the powerful Stable Diffusion XL, or SDXL, while retaining all the standard functionality for image-to-image, in-painting, and upscaling, but all in a fraction of the time. It works with very low CFG settings and a low number of steps for fast SDXL image generations. There are various low step models, and the documentation is all on a hugging base site, which I'll link below. It explains how they work with models that are distilled from the base Stable Diffusion XL model. There are a few options to choose from regarding their various steps, but I'll be using a four step model, as it is a good compromise for speed and realistic results. There's also a demo page here, which shows off the speed and quality of the model, so you can try it out first before installing. To work with this, you need a base checkpoint model, like usual, and a matching lower file. If you don't know the difference between checkpoint files and lower files, to summarize, checkpoints are the main pre-trained stable diffusion weights for generating particular image styles, and then lower files are the extension of the original stable diffusion models. So LoRa stable diffusion models integrate additional techniques to improve the quality, accuracy, or speed of the generated images. So many AI enthusiasts train and upload their own LoRa files on sites such as Civit AI, which is a great way to customize your own designs, or in this case, to speed up the image generations. What we will need to download from the site is the four-step safe tensor file. You can use the smaller 394 megabyte file rather than a larger one, and I found it still works well. So once downloaded, just save into your comfy UI directory in the Dolores folder. For the checkpoint file, we will be using Juggernaut Excel, which is commonly used for creating amazing quality text to image generations but it works on any SDXL model, so feel free to experiment. You can download this from Civit AI and paste it into your checkpoints folder. If you load up a default setup in Comfy UI, you can then set the checkpoint Juggernaut Excel. I'm using version 8 here. And you can enter your standard architectural prompts. By default, SDXL generates a 1024 by 1024 image, the maximum. So this is what we will use in the empty latent image space. Now for the case sampler, we need to set the steps to four to match the lower previously downloaded. And this is what speeds up the generations. So the CFG works best at one or two. And for the sampler name and the scheduler, I found EULA, Ancestral and STM Uniform worked well for me. And then we just need to add the four step LoRa file. So search for load LoRa model and choose the four step one we downloaded. This connects from the checkpoint and out into the case sampler. And that is all you need to do to allow lightning fast generations. If you hit run, it will literally take a few seconds and you'll get some amazing results. You can now run through rapid iterations of your prompts without wasting time. So for example, if you don't like what you see, you can change the seed or any details and just keep iterating quickly. Only if you are loading a new model for the first time, it may take longer in the initial run, but it is very quick after that. What is powerful with this workflow is that once you are happy with the general composition, you can use this 4 step lower for a variety of other upscaling, bring up the quality. I went through this workflow in a previous video in detail, so feel free to check that out. But what you need to do is add a upscale latent by node after this original upscaler, and I'll scale it by two and connect up the samples. Then you can copy over the case sampler to generate the image from the upscaler. As I mentioned, you can now plug in that same four-step lightning lower into this case sampler and it will run much quicker. And connect up the prompts 
and you can play around with the case sampler settings if you want to make more creative changes. Just remember to keep the sampling settings at all. I'll also set the denoise to 0.5 as I want to increase the creative changes. Then we just need to decode the VAE, connect the inputs, and save the image. If we press Q prompt, we just need to wait a few seconds again. And this is a great difference compared to the usual minute or two. And if I move this image up, you'll see all this extra detail added, especially here in the grass and the stones. Let's say we are happy with this image. We can add an ultimate SD upscaler for more sharpness. Connect up the decoded image and then add the four-step LoRa model from before to work with the lightning speed. Be sure to change the samples to four, or the rest you can adjust to your preferred settings. I will also fix the seed, and I will connect the remaining inputs. Then I can add the upscale model by searching for load upscale model, and I will either choose the 4x ultra sharp or the 4x4 hardy, which I find they work well. So connect that up and then add a saved image node and hit run. Once this is generated and I put them side to side, you can see a great difference in the detail. We also see unwanted parts, of course, such as this strange vegetation here on the roof and the balconies. But this is where you can go back and create much quicker iterations before you upscale. Easiest way to do this is to right click on the upscale nodes you want to deactivate and just generate from the first case sampler until you're happy. And you can just do it step by step, reactivating them. Just remember to fix the seeds so you can control which generation to use. So that is how you get fast, high quality text to image generations with STXL and combine it with upscaling. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.